Greetings and salutations. This will be the first in a series of videos, the purpose of which is to teach you how to build a combo. Beginners and people that have gotten to the point where they worked their way through a lot of basic lists up to some of the more advanced tricks now wish to build their own combos like they see people in videos doing. This is going to teach you how to get started. The, next, the rest of the videos in the series will be from each mount, what are five or six different things you can do that you may not think of on your own, and I'll continue from there. Today, we're talking about the basics. Things to think about when you're trying to build a combo. Direction, dimension, flow, transitions, and style. Direction simply refers to, are you doing a horizontal throw, front style, side style, are you doing a lot of things that go this way, should you try some things that go this way, or around your body, direction. Dimension refers to when you're doing things where you are going away from your body, or going towards your body. Rejections are one piece of that, a rejection is when you have a wrap around the string and you flick it off and you get a piece of slack around. Style is what you develop. There are dozens of different techniques that people tend to favor. So there are a lot of people that are just really fast, zippy, things that are really complicated, hard to do really fast. There are people that are a lot more slow, technical, difficulty type tricks. Um, there's tricks around the body, so around your arms, doing things around your neck, around your back. There's tricks that involve slack, so for those of you who don't know, slack is when you grab, pinch a piece of string, and you've got a loop that you can whip around, hook on the yo-yo different ways. Lots of other techniques that can be discussed. But for now, think about learning as many tricks as you can, and then developing what you like the best. Now, when you start making a combo, the best way to start, take two combos that are reasonably short, that you know how to do, squish them together. First one I did personally was a matrix trapeze brother slack. So I started with the matrix. Round and round and up, then and round and round and up. Okay, now instead of going up and hopping it off and back to the beginning, when I got to the trapeze, go over my middle finger into the trapeze brother, pinch, slack. Simple, but I put two things together. As you progress and get a little more fluid doing that, start looking at taking just pieces of combos. So the next, another one to do is the beginning of a trick called Cold Fusion. Like that, gets you into this mount. Now instead of finishing Cold Fusion, go into a Buddha's Revenge. From there, well, when you get to the middle, you're in spot for a Z flip. Into a bucket. So I'm just taking pieces of different combos stringing them together. Now, again, the next... From there, you're now on to build your own combos and you want to make them look flashy, flowy, complicated, and again, like you see in videos on the internet. The way to do that, start with things you can do well. Put them together. Slowly add in more complicated things. The key is building a combo and practicing it enough that you're doing it without mistakes, without having to stop and think. The other thing to think about is transitions. Transitions are where you're changing from one combo piece of the combo to the next, or changing directions. You need to make those flowy. One of the ways to do it is adding little things that don't really do anything or get you anywhere, but add some style. So that one, on, off, on, off, this is a good thing to practice. The trick is, when you're changing directions, you want to hit a string before changing directions. You may recognize what I just did out of Skin the Gerbil. It's a great trick for that. You're going this way in a circle, touch. This way in a circle, touch. This way, on. Every time I change direction, I'm tapping the string and going the other way. Another good example of that is getting into mounts. There are all sorts of different mounts, like a double or nothing, that you can get into with a, with a whip slack. Um, Houdini mount, you can get into like that. I've just done the beginning of a magic rock and pull. It's a different way to get into it. it adds a little style. Things like a wrist mount, instead of just going around, around, drop. 
different way to do it. Added a little extra element that just gave me the momentum to go around and drop in. Getting out of tricks and binding is important too. Learning different binds that look a little flashier. Um, being able to do a little bit of flare at the end before you add your bind, or doing a regen before your bind. These are all things you can pick up watching tutorials, watching other people. But add all the pieces together, you've got some style. Feel free to PM me copies of videos you've made, of combos that you've made. I'd love to see what people are doing, and if you want advice, send me a message.